What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another gameplay stream. Before we jump into today's deck, uh, just want to let you guys know we are going to stick with Historic today. It's going to be a really fun one, but a uh, couple of small things. So first of all, we have uh, the card hunt going on, which is supposed to be going on tomorrow at 1pm. We were going to open up Time Spiral Remastered. Turns out, uh, due to Supply being so low, uh, we're not able to actually get our hands on any. So, unfortunately, tomorrow we may not be able to do our normal card hunt. Uh, we'll see. If we can't do it, we'll do something in, in place of it, most likely. Uh, so, don't worry about that. But uh, I just want to throw that out there as a bit of an apology that, unfortunately, because of, you know, everybody buying it up and that kind of thing, there's just not any that we can get our hands on. So unfortunately we can't do that. But uh, in addition, uh, our Time Spiral Remastered giveaway, which is going on right now, we're gonna continue monitoring how that goes. Uh, Garrett, what's up, buddy? Uh, we're gonna continue monitoring uh, and if we can get our hands on some, or if there's a box online that we can get shipped to the winner, we will certainly do so. If not, we'll find some way to compensate to make sure that you are made whole in terms of you know the giveaway winner, that kind of thing. Uh, I just wanted to let everybody know ahead, ahead of time because uh, obviously that's something that's happening right now that we can't really control at the moment but I wanted to make sure that we let everybody know so uh, that will be you know in the works we'll keep everybody posted of course uh, but I do appreciate everybody's patience there now let's jump in let's do zombies guys let's do zombies in historic so uh, mono black zombies is the deck today yesterday was uh, mono green elves were kind of fit in the tribal theme this week unintentionally, but uh, there's a lot of great zombies in Historic, uh, and so I thought I'd give this a shot. I did find this list. I did not create it, uh, so credit to the creator. I don't know who they were, but I do appreciate it. Ernites, what's up, man? How's it going? Uh, so I do, I, I really, really like zombies as an archetype. I think it's a very fun one. Uh, we've obviously got a lot, like I've said, we've got Crypt Breaker, we got the Marshall, Reaver. Some of the big ones here are Lord of the Accursed, which is absolutely massive for this deck. Uh, we, of course, have Death Baron, which is honestly just one of those, like, kind of insta-win almost. Uh, the fact that they have Death Touch makes it really difficult for other creature decks to then push through. Uh, thankfully, things like Murderous Rider is also a, uh, that's also a zombie, so we get to utilize that. Uh, we have got, where was it? Uh, oh, Rotting Regisaur here, which is just massive. Mixy Fit, what's up, man? Great to see you. Uh, and then, of course, we've got some of these big lilies. So Liliana, Dreadhorde General is really the big one. Uh, but, of course, Death Majesty is also quite good. It does provide us with a one-sided sweeper to take care of the opponent's side of the board, hopefully, uh, which is awesome. Uh, Liliana's Mastery spits out some zombies and buffs them up, which is great. Uh, we've got Ghoul Collar Giza, 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 what, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Sacrifice another creature. Create t X 2-2 two, two black zombie creatures where X is the sacrifice creature's power. Obviously, with all these lords and things like that, we can buff up a bunch of creatures, sacrifice them, get more zombies, and then hopefully bring them back with something like Death's Majesty or something along those lines. Uh, Jim Palm Polluter, kind of an interesting one, but it does provide us with a little bit of just guaranteed damage. We can cycle this away as soon as we have some creatures on the board and hopefully uh, get through for a good bit. Um, one other thing too is Haunting Voyage, which is obviously a newer Kaldheim card. If we foretell this and if we get to the late game, uh, we can actually bring all zombies back from our graveyard, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, and in terms of ramp, we do have Phyrexian Tower to help sacrifice creatures, add a little extra to our mana pool, and then of course Cabal Stronghold as well, uh, which is just a guaranteed land, right, and a mono black deck. So really, really stoked to try this one out. Uh, we do have some removal, like I said, with Blood Chief's Thirst and the Murderous Rider, so I'm hoping we can we can handle ourselves. I did play test this a little bit. Ended up against Mono Green Elves, uh, which was actually a, a very interesting matchup. It kind of landed at a stalemate for quite a while. And then uh, we actually got to ult Liliana's Death's Majesty uh, to sweep their board, uh, which worked great. So, turns out if you could do that, you're usually pretty well set. Um, but guys, how are we doing today? Garrett, Urnites, Mixifit, how is everybody doing? It's great to see all of you here. I hope you're doing really, really well. Uh, this hand is great against a creature deck. Uh, it's not so great against anything else. I mean, it's fine. We've got the Marshall. I think we try it, uh, but we'll see. Ace, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out yesterday, by the way, guys. I really appreciate it. School is a giant burnout, but we're making it through the week. I like it, Garrett. 
uh, pushing through, pushing through. I know I, I mentioned yesterday that my fiance Caitlin is finishing up her grad school stuff this week and she is stressed, but handling it exceptionally well. Uh, I will, I, I'm vouching for her in that because she is really, really just doing an amazing job and working so hard to get everything done. Uh, and she's doing it, man. She's, she's killing it. Uh, Mixy Fit doing good catching the stream at work. I like it. <laughs> and then Ace showing off that hype. I like it. Um, so this is obviously a Gates deck. Uh, we don't have to foretell quite yet. Yeah, school and spoilers and live streams don't go well together. Yeah, they don't. Uh, I hope, has everybody watched the live stream or is it still going on? I didn't actually watch it. I'll be honest. I've been working this morning, so too much going on ace yes it is mono black zombie day uh thought we'd try something a little bit different and i like this deck so we're we're trying it um let's go ahead and attack in first just see what they do that's fine uh ended a little bit ago uh what were some of the new hits out of it was there anything super exciting um did they reveal much i, I have no idea i know it was on strixhaven and the, the schools but that's literally all i know uh, okay. Sure. That's a little scary. Um, so, let's do this. Let's see what they do. These have death touch, which is very crucial to remember. <laughs> uh, perfect. And I think we just rotting Regisaur. I think we just want to throw as much as we can out there at the moment. Uh, if they kill it all, that's fine, because we do have the Haunting Voyage. So they're gonna have to do, like, a lot of damage for us here. That's good. That's very, very good. Uh, we'll discard one of these. Ooh, neat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Why not, right? Um, so we can't actually, well, I guess we could have. That was, might have been a bit of a mistake, but that's fine. All right, let's just do this. Hit him for nine. Uh, next turn, we can actually just Blood Chief's Thirst away the Angel if we want. Uh, we do have to discard a card. That's the only trick here. Um, but I think it's just going to be Lily. They revealed the commanders for each school as well as the new mechanics and a few supporter cards for each. They also showed the arts for each dragon of the colleges. Well, that's really cool. Um, let's do this. Ooh. Uh... All right, so let's get this out of here. And then we're just going to attack with everything, dude. We're here to do damage. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, so Mixy Fit, it sounds like I missed a lot. Um, so I'll be uh, jumping into that a little bit later on, but I haven't. I it, The fact that they stream in the morning makes it a little tricky. Uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> Um, and so for me, that's just bad timing, but they, I mean, they're doing the best they can, I'm sure too. So it is what it is. All right. Uh, hmm. If we attack here, they have to, if they're going to block, they have to block with both. If they did not. All right. Just means we can guarantee kind of kill both things, which is great. Circuitous route is good, but uh i don't think it's gonna be enough we might be able to just get them here we'll see we don't have a card to discard obviously that's good uh two three four so we can't quite or no we can do it can't we oh they just gave up all right well we won go us Don. what's up man how are you doing let's get some hype in chat guys we did it we got game one very surprised by that, actually. Ace showing that hype. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Cork's fine showing it as well. I like it. Let's jump back in. Dawn, too. God, guys, you guys are the best. Uh, if anybody missed out on yesterday's stream, you really missed a good one. Metal Mouth was here and gifted five subs. Ace, I know you were one of them that got it. That was awesome. What are we playing, Dawn? It is Mono Black Zombies today. I uh, thought I'd try something a little bit different. It's not great, but it's something fun. Uh, it is a weird hand, but we're going to try it. Anything with like a decent two drop is like okay to keep, I think, in historic. Um, it's not great, but it's fine. 
Uh, missed a good stream then. Hectic week. Alex, what's up, buddy? I missed you. Also, hi. <laughs> hi, buddy. Good to see you. Um, yeah, yesterday's stream was a, a killer one. Why would... That's interesting. <coughs> Ooh, scary. Uh, okay. Let's just play the Reaver, uh, just to give him two things to hit instead of one. I think this early in the game, that's kind of the key. This is going to be a control deck, though. I mean, it's probably control reanimator, given that they've got the burning rune demon, so... <laughs> If I reach 50 followers, I'll open a dark booster. Dude, I've opened the dark a couple of times. Holy crap, is it a fun uh, a fun set to open. Um, let's attack in here. Question is, do we play the Rotting Regisaur? I think we do. Let's threaten him. Um, the dark is sweet to open. Uh, absolutely sweet to open. So, hear me out, guys, because I've actually... This brings up something really, really interesting. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh... So, Don, I've actually been thinking about doing, uh, we used to do, if anybody remembers, this is from forever ago, like, I'm talking years ago, uh, we used to do crack packs like, weekly, uh, like, three or four of them a week, like, we did a lot, um, and they were really fun, don't get me wrong, but they weren't really great content, like, it was opening a pack, talking about the limited viability and, like, stuff like that, which was fun, but it wasn't, like, we can't survive off of just crack of packs. Sure. Expected a counter spell, so that's fine. Um, so we stopped doing that and instead kind of switched gears into gameplay, obviously, uh, which I think is much better. Um, but I would like to still open up some fun stuff on the channel at some point. Um, I just think that that's a really fun thing to do, generally speaking. Uh, and so if that's something you guys are kind of interested in, I wouldn't mind doing like a, a one a, once a week series where we open up a handful of random packs, just some fun stuff, uh, and see, you know, what we get and maybe talk about it a little bit. Um, I think that'd be a really fun time, but you guys let me know what you think. I just, I thought it'd be an interesting, uh, way to do it. All right, we don't, let's, uh... <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's give him a... Wait, choose his own. Put the chosen card into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Alright. Definitely interested, says Don. That's good. That's good to know. Let's do this. Uh... Yeah, let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. We can do... That gives us five. Okay, well, it didn't really make a difference, but that's fine. Uh, you. Create a 2-2. Two -two. All right, Lord of the Accursed, huh? It's interesting. Um, yeah, I think that's something we might try and do then. Uh, I just think it'd be a really fun time. That's still not quite enough to kill, is it? Um, let's attack, just because. We'll activate this, get this out of the graveyard. All right, then they're down to one. Although I can only comment on current sets or really old sets, Don. Uh, yeah, I guess you had a split, right? Because you were into Magic a long time ago and then got back into it after the fact. Uh, that's fun. Um, yeah, I kind of... I dabbled in and out, right? Like, I started in 7th edition. I jumped into, like, Ravnica and Time Spiral a little bit. Hey, we won. All right, we beat a control deck. That's pretty... That's pretty great. I'm pretty happy with that. And leveled up to plat four. I like or plat three, excuse me. Let's get some hype in chat. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm kinda with you. There are some sets that I don't know a ton about. Uh I've tried to do my homework when it comes to those because of the crack -a pack series that we did so long ago. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that series. It was a really fun time kind of hopefully hopefully learning together, but um it was it was kinda tough to evaluate cards that I didn't play with at the time, if that makes sense. Uh, we keep this. So you planned on doing a soul link after the end of the first Nuzlocke Quirkspine? That's the idea. That is the idea. Also, if I'm sniffy today, I apologize. It's, uh, it's allergies. They're just killing me. Hey, Omega, what is up? What is up? Zombie, elves, so Gabo's next. Mixy fit, maybe. Uh, how big the impact would be today. Don, that's fair. That's a very good point. Uh, and Quirkspine, yeah, we are gonna try a Soul Link, I think, after 
we finish up, which I'm hoping we can finish up the the Nuzlocke next or tomorrow, actually, potentially tomorrow. Um, I got to record the last episode, but it should just be the Pokemon League at this point. And I think I'm going to try and cram it all into one episode and just do one big finale. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. Hopefully we can win. Uh, but I have not yet recorded it. I, I usually stay ahead, but I didn't do it yet. Jimbo, I got a plan. Don't you worry. Uh, I do have a plan to get them. Um, I did order a cake. So she does have like a happy graduation cake coming. I thought why, while I'm there, because I am going to a local store to get it, uh, they do sell flowers, so I'm going to pick some up there. So I got you, Jim. Thank you, buddy. <coughs> uh, Omega, no, no problem. Um, all right. We're just threatening as best we can. Looks like a weird combo-y kind of deck. So we might be able to just threaten them enough that uh, this becomes a problem. We'll see. They only have two mana available this turn. That's not a lot. I'm going to throw this back. That worked out. Uh, let's do this. Let's attack in. And I'll hold off, but the plan will be to cycle this, I believe. If we hit a second land, that would be ideal because that guarantees Liliana to hit. Uh, the other thing is we can actually bring this back after we cycle it with Liliana, which is kind of cool. Ooh, mean. Uh, okay, let's do this. Go ahead and hit him for some. And there we go. We did it. Guys, we're unstoppable with zombies as it turns out. <laughs> Uh, what's cooler than that? A zombie freaking dinosaur. Kiwi, you got it. Let's get some hype in chat, everybody. We got another win. We are 3-0 and o with Mono Black Zombies. Didn't expect that. <clears throat> really didn't expect that. Uh, also, I just realized I have a pack to open. Uh, let's get this out. Let's see what we got. Oh, look. Some gems. Uh, stream may be down. It doesn't look like it is on my end, Alex. Uh, is, can anybody confirm? I've got it pulled up over here. It's working just fine. Uh, but if anybody stream is up for you, Jimbo, thank you, buddy. Uh, all right. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, we'll try. A uh, little bit slow, but the Blood Chief's Thirst gives me hope. Uh, it's fine for you, Ace, Dawn. Everybody's saying they're good. So, Alex, it's just you. I'm going to alienate you and say that you're the one with the problem. <laughs> uh, all right. This is just, again, turn three Rotting Registor is just as good as you can ask for in this deck. Um, that's good at least, yeah. You're right, Alex. Um, we were very, I'm very thankful to say we didn't have any issues yesterday. Um, hopefully we can get through today. But I faced a deck that used a three mana blue card to exile a permanent, then cast it for zero. They did it to Valky and then played Tibalt, which was really good. Holy crap, that's bonkers. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna kill this now. Uh, this is, I'm guessing, the Azorius Enchantments deck. There's some thought and consideration to, like, letting this stick on the field so that they can hit, uh, hit it with a bunch of enchantments and stuff. I don't actually like that idea, uh, because, again, turn three, we want to kind of just play stuff. So, I'm gonna play Rotting Registor. <laughs> And this is just a, a beating, hopefully, for them. Okay. And again, this is fine-ish. We have the Blood Chief's Thirst, so we should be able to get around this. Uh, but they will be drawing some cards this turn. Sure. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Let's do this. Let's shoot for this. Get that out of there. And we'll play the Death Baron. Release to the Wind is the card. Uh, yeah, Release to the Wind is that card. That's a very good card. Uh, and very frustrating. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> wow. Okay, we are 4-0. Uh, with Mono Black Zombies in Historic. This is weird. Uh, I did not expect to be really winning very many games at all. But 4-0. Not bad. Uh... Let's keep going, guys. Let's see how many wins we can get. Let's also get some hype in chat, guys, for the win. We did it. We did it. We did it. 
Uh, Alex, I was telling everybody, by the way, I cannot get my hands on any Time Spiral Remastered at the moment. I do have a word in with our LGS uh, that they're going to hold some for me if they can. But it uh, looks like we're not going to be able to do the card hunt tomorrow uh, from from the looks of things. Uh, which does kind of suck, but we'll do something in it, in its place. It might just be gameplay. It might be something else. We'll see. But just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, Release to the win plus Nyaru Mea and Aetherflux Reservoir was a fun point. It, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's attack in for one. Play out the Marshal. Kind of want to do a Regisword double power haste on turn four. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's decks for that. Um, so it's very good. Gameplay is always good, says Ace. I think so, too. I mean, it's it's nice backup, right? I even considered streaming the end of the the lock, but I kind of don't like that idea anymore. I like keeping our stream for magic-only kind of content, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to keep that kind of going. Um, people have asked if we're ever going to... Just let me stream so I can panic about Marches <laughs> that day after. Yeah, there you go. Um, people have asked if we're going to be streaming Pokemon on the channel. Um, hey, Corkspine, that's awesome. Um, I'll be honest, I don't want to. Uh, as much as I love doing the Pokemon content and that kind of thing, I want to keep the stream as magic only. Uh, it's a pretty big identifier to what we are as a channel, obviously. And while it's, I think, okay to do supplemental series kind of stuff on YouTube, I, I'm going to hold to magic content here on Twitch. Um, so just a heads up. Uh, I think that's going to be the plan. <laughs> I mean, Death Baron, right? Just seems great. Uh, well, we could do either one of these, but what about Magic Legends? Not that I'm asking for it, just curious if you're thinking about it as well. Jimbo, I did think about it, uh, and then I saw it, uh, and actively decided not to do it. Um, I actually watched, uh, Day 9 play it, um... Day9, if you guys don't know, is one of my favorite streamers. He's just a delight, super positive individual. So I've really enjoyed watching him play his games. Uh, and so I thought, you know, I saw his video go up on it, and I thought, you know what, I'll I'll give it a shot. I'll see. Uh, but the reality is, man, it's just not... It's not the kind of game that I am super interested in. Uh, I'm not going to say it's bad, and it's in beta. Like, let me be very clear in saying it's obviously... Being that it's in beta you know, it's, it's going to have hiccups, so it's fine. Uh, but it's just not, not for me at the current, uh, state. Um, so I'm not going to be streaming it most likely. If you guys really want it, let me know. I mean, I'm not opposed to playing it. It just looks really, really like, I don't know, kind of meh. <laughs> Uh, I love Liliana's midlife crisis phase, to be honest. I feel that. Ah, yes. This L <laughs> Lily the reanimator I used in my combo bolus. Ut yeah. <coughs> I actually really like Death's Majesty. I think it's pretty good. Um, in Historic. And they gave up. What? Uh, community event out of it? Don, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that's not a bad idea, Don. Um... I'm not, again, I'm not opposed to play. It just, it wasn't super stable. Uh, like, uh, from from what I was seeing, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, because I did not watch the whole thing, but just, I kind of skimmed through a little bit. I watched a good portion of it, and then kind of skimmed through the rest. There were a lot of things that I didn't love about it. Um, and some of that was just due to, I think they could have optimized significantly better on the gameplay. Um... And it didn't look all that exciting. I mean, it, it's Diablo, right? It's Diablo. Uh, which I like Diablo, but... It seemed like the tutorial was particularly laggy. Uh, Jimbo, I would absolutely agree with you. Um, it was very, very laggy. And I don't know what rig Day9 has, but I guarantee you it's better than mine. <laughs> uh, and so I have to assume that it would be a bit tricky, uh, is the best thing I could say. Uh, I don't love our, our game plan against this life gain deck. The, the only, like, real saving grace we have is this Death Baron, to be honest. Um, the question is, do we save this against the Valkyrie, or do we not? I'm gonna say not. Or no, excuse me. We, we save it for something else, is what I'm trying to say. 
they can block one of these safely, but it does have death touch. Huh. Maybe they didn't realize it had death touch. Well, that worked out. That was great. <laughs> uh, eventually, we're going to want to kill this speaker, most likely, but Blitchy's Thirst gives us a really quick and easy way to do it. Okay. Uh, we're definitely going to foretell this. Um, part of me wants to nuke something now. The other part of me doesn't. Um, I think regardless, we don't attack with the Death Baron. We only attack with these two. So let's just do that now. We'll see what they want to block or how they want to block. Looks like they just don't want to. Um, I don't know which I want to kill, actually. I'm going to say Soul Warden. Soul Warden just... That's a problematic card if they've got, like, an Ajani's Pride Mate or the Hollowed whatever it is that does the same thing. Like, there's a lot that could be a problem there. Um, interesting if they attack here. Okay, they didn't. I was, was kind of worried that they might. Um, <laughs> I think we just keep playing the same thing. Uh, they are going to start attacking in, no problem here. Uh, but if we can get one more land, we can Liliana's Mastery. That's scary as crap. Okay, well, we might just be dead now. Um, but we'll see. I mean, they can only attack with this at the moment safely, uh, which is good for us. <laughs> I would love to get Liliana... Dreadhorde General down. No. Oh, no. We're not going to draw the lands, guys. Uh, I think we just pass. <clears throat> That's all we can really do. All we can really do. They got the flyers, man. That's the problem. Yep. Surprised they didn't attack with that as well. All right. I mean... Unfortunately, this is literally all we can do. Uh, let's pass. I think this is our first loss, guys. I think we found it. Uh, we found our loss. That's okay. That is okay. Yep. Big downside to this deck is we do not have flying. Uh, which seems kind of fundamental. But it is a zombie deck, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and concede here. Alright, anti-hype in the chat. Quirk's fine. Beating us to it. I like it. Ugh, I like it. Alright, 4-1. and one. That's okay. That's not bad. Still pretty happy with our record so far, honestly. <clears throat> I would not... Oh, thank you, Kiwi. I would not have expected us to get 4 wins. I would have said max 3 out of... I would think 3-3 three and three is, like, max what we could have gotten. So I'm okay with this. Uh, we'll probably end up playing... Ah, uh, like seven, maybe eight games. We'll see. We'll check time as we go through. We're coming up on 30 minutes right now, so we got some We got some time. We got some time. <clears throat> uh, this is not a very good hand. Um, I will say the positive thing is that the Phyrexian Tower sacrificing the Crypt Breaker is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and then having cycling is okay. And having Murderous Rider, you know what? Sure, let's give it a shot. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit risky, right? Like we know that. <laughs> if we just draw lands, we're fine. Uh, if we don't draw lands, we'll see. Uh, we've got outs, so that's the important thing. They did aggressively mulligan here, so this very well may be a. Uh... Oh, okay. Famous last words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gain that life. All right, it's life gain. Here we go. Uh, I'm kind of glad we kept on the back of Murderous Rider. I'll I'll be honest. Uh, it gives us an out. Yep. Yep. Woohoo! That's fun. Um, I'm gonna wait. We don't have to do it yet. <laughs> Let's see what else they have. This is an instant, so we're good. I'll do it now. Uh, actually, 
do we cycle or do we murderous rider i'll murderous rider we could have been more proactive honestly and just played the rotting regisaur i don't think that was the right play though so i don't know that this is i'll be honest doesn't seem like it because we didn't draw land <laughs> oh we're gonna die again um hopefully we don't but probably are <laughs> Okay, good news, they didn't have another Ajani's Pride mate. That could have been worse, so that's good. If they had had it, I think they would have just played it. <laughs> this is actually a really good draw for us. It does mean that they gained some life, but uh, we can sack this to play something bigger pretty quickly here. So we'll see. Three five-drop Planeswalkers, but no lands. Yeah, right. Linden. Well, that's a cool one. Um, land. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I think it's just Rotting Regisaur, honestly. Uh, just to stem the bleeding here a little bit. It's just a nice, aggressive card. We can get in for some damage with it, uh, which we will need to do. Um, because they're crucially coming up on that 27 life total, which we do not want them to get to. Uh, oh, mean. Very mean. Okay. Ace is back. What's up, buddy? I'm sorry you had to leave us, but I'm glad you're back. We missed you. All right. I think it's just Lord of the Accursed. We could have cycled this away to get him out of that 27 territory, but it's fine. Uh, we're against Mono White Life Gain, and it's going so well. No, it's not. We haven't been drawing very many lands, as you can tell. Uh, they did aggressively mulligan down to five, which is the only reason we are still in this game, but realistically, we're not doing great here. Um, so it is what it is land uh so we can play lily if we sack this she does give us a three three uh it also gets us well on our way to dealing with what they need yeah i think this is just the right play let's do that <laughs> does mean that they get another uh creature or a uh, you know thingy life I don't know why I couldn't think of life. All right. Uh, but crucially, in two turns, we can just sweep, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. I'm not 100% sure what happened there. Uh, it looked like we were doing okay, and then it just kind of stopped. So my apologies. I hope I hope we're all good. Um, let's take the safe play. Let's just throw out some creatures here. <laughs> A uh, little worried about their life total, but we're going to go for this. Can everybody confirm if you are back and let me know? Whoops. No, let's not do that. Why did it tap? That's so stupid. Uh, it taps in the worst way sometimes. Um, Kiwi's back. Thank you. Thank you, Kiwi. Sorry about that, Flying Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, not sure what happened there. I'll be honest, but here we are. All right, uh, they have to answer Liliana here. I mean, they just have to. They're going to lose their creatures either way at this point, so. Yep. <laughs> They're going to use this to draw as much as they can, which does make sense. Um, but crucially, this might put us in a spot where we just don't have to ultimate her. Uh, Alex, you're here as well. Man, we were doing so well, guys. We were having no issues for so long. And yet, here we are. Um, let's block like this. And we'll see if they've got any two-mana plays here. I kind of doubt it. Um, feel pretty good about it. Stream down. Omega, it shouldn't be any more. Um, should be fine now. Ooh. Ooh. So they're going to try and save Linden here. I am going to let this damage happen because it gains us three. Uh, which I think is worth it. Stream did go down there. I apologize, guys. Um, so the question becomes, do we actually want to deal with this or do we not? Because uh, we don't really have to. We can just play Liliana. Which seems pretty good. Uh, we could also play Ghoul Caller. We can just cycle. We got some options. Um, hmm. 
I'm thinking we're gonna do this. We're gonna sack one of these to get rid of this. We're gonna do this. I know we're losing a lot of creatures here, but it's actually okay for us to lose the creatures. It's not really okay for them to lose the creatures. Uh, and I will attack here. I don't think haste is really on the radar at this point. <laughs> Alright. So now we have got two lilies and a lord of the accursed against basically a dawn of hope at this point. I feel pretty good about that. All right, let's see if we can do it. I believe in us. <laughs> Again, I apologize if I sound very nasally today, but it is what it is. Sure, go for it. Crucially, we got to draw cards off of ours and they did not, which is pretty important. Um. All right, so we're going to create a token. <laughs> I think we're going to create another token. We're going to Liliana's Mastery. Seems pretty good. Uh, again, it taps in the weirdest way. Um, I'll attack for one. If they have any instant speed response, I'm okay with just sacking this. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. They get to draw a card. That's fine. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and cycle this, I think. Sack one of these guys. Deal damage to them. We get to draw essentially two cards for that. I think that's fine. We could have waited, but it didn't really matter. Um, we do need to get their life total down below 27. That's a very, very crucial number for us. Um, thankfully, we've pushed our creatures to the right right moments here. We've got a Blood Sheath Thirst to deal with this. Feel okay about it. Um, ooh, and that helps as well. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, so, what's the best, optimal, amazingest play? We could just, like, ult Liliana if we wanted. It doesn't seem great to do that. Um, we're definitely doing this. I think we're definitely doing this. Um, we could just kill that. What's in our graveyard? Hmm. I just got a plus. And you know what? Yeah, sure. Let's just kill this. <laughs> just so they don't draw. Um, it seems really overkill, but it's fine. All right. They're down below twenty-seven. I feel a lot safer now. Um, theoretically, we're good. Theoretically, we're okay. Um, we'll see. We've also got Lily at 10. Wow. Wow. They are hilarious. That's actually not the worst thing in the world for us. Uh, we do have an out here that we can draw. And even if we don't, we just get to refill like crazy. Um, all right. Well. Uh, did we draw? We did not. Okay. Well, we're gonna plus. So are they trying to deck us? Is that the key here? Just gonna kill that. Can't kill him. New plan, mill out the value engine. Yeah, I mean, I guess, right? Let's do this. You know, for that reason, we're not gonna go as heavy. What we're going to do is throw this out. Uh, we'll plus. That does mill us a little bit, but that's fine. Um, we're going to end up sacking a creature regardless, aren't we? If they do have another. 
Yeah, screw it. Let's just do it. <laughs> All right. Do your worst. Do your worst. Uh, did they already mill? They have not. Uh, did they exile? No. Well, I mean, we still have both of our answers to be able to pull all of the zombies out of our graveyard at some point. So that is a possibility. Um, I wouldn't say we need it, <laughs> uh, but it's a possibility. Good. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, could just revive Reggie. Yeah, we could. Um, all right, they're out. They have got to be just done now. Um, all right, so we're going to destroy all non-zombie creatures. Easy. Um, we could actually, yeah, this is just game, right? Like, we can just attack here. All right, we'll, we'll not prolong it. We did it! We did it, we did it. Is that five and two? Is that correct? I think that's five and two. We're gonna do one more, guys. We are gonna do one more final game. Uh, since we did have to reboot the stream, we figure we'll, we'll at least get an extra game in here. So let's do it. Let's see if we can get it. Let's get some hype in chat for that win. We did it, guys. We did it. Last game for Mono Black Zombies. Highly, highly impressed by this deck. I am not gonna lie. Uh, did not expect us to be able to, to really win very many, but hey, we're doing all right. Um, it is a fairly aggressive deck, which I like, and tribal decks tend to be really fun, so. Uh, if we get a third land, this hand is amazing. Uh, we've got a nice one, two with a reaver, and then three to spread out that death touch. Um, that just seems great. Look how red my nose is. Ooh, so red. Look at this. Red. All right. <laughs> oh, classic matchup. What a great matchup to end it on. Uh, uh, what's not to love? Aggressive, controly, and value. Kiwi, I mean, you're right. It's got a lot to it. It's got recursion. It's got the aggro essentials. It's definitely got a lot of the pieces that you want. Even the controlling, like you're saying. It's got removal built in. Um, this is going to be an interesting matchup. I think this just comes down to who gets their big wompy jompy bomb uh, first. If they get Crater Hoof, we are uh, in bad shape. Hello. <laughs> Crater Hoof is scary. Uh, we really want more removal than all this aggression. The reality is if we can't interact with what they're doing, it's a problem. I mean, that's all there is really to it. Uh, I'm going to attack. If they want to trade, that's awesome. I didn't think they would, but worth a shot. Easy point of damage. Let's go. Uh, so they should be able to dump their hand here, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy dump their hand. Wow, two Dwinans Elite. That's very good. With Marwin. Oh. And a Mystic. Or a Visionary, excuse me. Ooh. That needs to die. Um. Alright, well. <laughs> we have our Death Baron. <laughs> uh. We don't attack. Um. The only saving grace is if they don't have the Crater Hoof. If they do, it's a fine way to die. Uh, but if they don't, we have outs. We have plenty of outs. That makes it harder because now we need two removal spells to get this off the table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> scary. Very scary. Um, okay. I'm all too happy to trade as much off here as we can. Uh, save ourselves the damage later at this point. Like, it is it is what it is. Oh, no. We're just going to draw all lands, aren't we? So they should be able to just kill us, right? 
Like, for all intents and purposes, they just attack with everything and we're essentially dead. Um, that makes it even easier. Well, this is a quick game. <laughs> Ace, you're in just in time to watch us die to a bunch of elves, man. And they're just being snarky. They're making us block with everything. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Let's let him kill us, guys. Let's end it on a strong death note. A. Uh, we're just gonna pass. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well done, opponent. Minus 50 for the end. 55, excuse me. Well, guys, this was a fun one, actually. I'm I'm honestly very impressed uh, with Mono Black Zombies. I didn't think it'd be that good. Um, and it wasn't perfect. We, we obviously had issues. But as uh, Kiwi mentioned, it's got a lot of the elements that you want in a deck. Uh, it's got the aggression, it's got the controlling aspect, and it definitely has recursion and just value. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with it. It was a fun one. Do apologize the stream dropped out. Hopefully, again, we can uh, restabilize a little bit after that, but I do appreciate everybody sticking around. Ace, I'm glad you could make it for the end. I do appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, we will, like I said, probably not be able to do the card hunt tomorrow, but... Uh, we'll do something else in its place, even if it is just some gameplay. So do stay tuned for that. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out today. I'll see you tomorrow.